Hello, this is the Tech Girl 007 in here, and today you will learn the importance of Etsy sections and some tips, of course. So, first up, I'll show you how you can add a section and why it's important. If you want to go on your Etsy shop and log in, then go on to the shop manager. Now, on the left hand side, look for something called listings. On the right hand side, in the middle of the screen, you should see something that says sections and then you got manage. If you click on the drop down menu, I've got all of these sections that you can see and then you got manage. So you click on manage. From here, you can add section as such. You can write anything in here. So one of my listings in here, I could write and yeah, that's and then I can just save it. I've got name tracing worksheets in here, but this is more specific. All right, so that's one way in which you can do it. It's important because it will help with the SEO. So that's the first thing that you want to take away from this tutorial. Click on listings again and under each listings, you can see that there's a spanner. So if you click on the spanner, then go down, you have to, if you click on change section, if this listing is already in a section, then you can change the section if you would like, or add it to a section if it's not in one of the sections that you must have created. And then you can just say apply. But currently, this is in celebrations, I believe. So we got celebrations. And then if I want to change it, then I can. But there's nothing as such in here that I will be able to change it unless I have a few, for example, birthday cards. Then I can specifically say birthday celebration cards, whether it's digital, whether it's a video then I can just specify it there. So here's a tip for you. The reason you want to tailor down the section's name to what you're actually selling is because it will make it easier when it comes to the potential customers who would like to search for that item. So if I just write celebration, that's very general. No one's going to just write celebration. That could mean anything like, for example, Christmas celebration or I don't know, wedding celebrations. But in here, we're concerned about birthdays. So, so if I had to change this and tailor it to what I'm selling, I would write in here birthday card celebration. Or if I had so many of the Spider-Man birthday card celebration, then I'll say Spider-Man birthday card something like that. You can go on to the manage section from here as well. So under the manage section, it says sections help shoppers browse your shop, drag and drop sections to change the order in your shop. I can literally click on the pin icon and write in here birthday celebrations and then save it. Also in here, I can just drag and drop them and order them the way I would like. Okay, and that's it for this part. Right, so another way in which you can actually add a section and that's when you add a listing. So if you add a listing, obviously you put your picture and everything in here, the photo, the description and everything. And then down here, it says section. So click on the drop box and say add section. So if this listing is going to be coming under any of these sections, then you can just select that section and then that's it. Or otherwise, if this is something completely new, then you can say add section and you can name that section, save it, and this will fall under that section. All right, so that was three things that I wanted to show you guys in here. And in here, just for information, I wanted to let you guys know that you can only add up to 24 keywords. So make sure that you write the best keywords so that it's most descriptive as well as easy to find and not very general. 
all right guys so i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share it and i shall see you on another video take care bye